everyone this is Sandra at Spirit of Avalon so today I've got a very special um, video and this is for um, a deck that has been sent to me for review from Three Trees Tarot so the lovely Stephanie and you know Stephanie's a lovely person as well um, I met her a few years back in Glastonbury and was really lovely um, so she sent me her latest, her and Adam Ola's latest um, deck, which is the Heartwood Tarot. So this is a prototype deck that Stephanie has sent. Look how lovely it's packaged, though. I kind of don't want to open it <laughs> because it's going to tear, but we, we've got to. We have to do it, guys. So... As I said, this is a prototype, but I know from watching other people's videos that have had prototypes in the past that, you know, they are of exceptional quality, even the prototypes. Look at the mess I'm making of this, guys. Sorry, Stephanie, if you're watching this, all your nice packaging. <laughs> so let's just remove that that's just the top card just to protect the deck so we just remove that and we'll remove the top card so have i got this round the wrong way yes of course i have so let's just get this in shot for you guys properly so that's just the top card now all the details for this will be down below. I will put um, the link to Stephanie's website, which is Three Trees Tarot. Now, as you can see, these it's got sharp corners. Now, Stephanie has said um, in the information that was given to me that the finished product will have rounded corners. So just remember, guys, this is a prototype and the decks that you will purchase when they're ready will have rounded corners, not pointed, because this is just a prototype. She also mentioned that the colour saturation um, may be more. There'll be more colour saturation in the finished product as well. So this deck has 78 cards plus an alternative lovers and an alternative devil card and there's going to be five extra art cards that are exclusive to the first printing of Heartwood Tarot. So let me just give you um, the details of when this is going to be ready and then um, we'll, we'll have a look through the deck. So um, for people that subscribe to Three Trees Tarot email, um, they will be sent um, an email on the 19th of April giving all the details, everything you need to know about this deck. So obviously if you're not um, subscribed to Three Trees Tarot email and you're interested in this deck or in any of their products, um, please go along and just subscribe so that you get regular updates on what's happening there. Um, Pre-orders for this deck will open on the 3rd of May this year. So that's when you can pre-order this deck. And they are looking at shipping around September, October time. So... Okay, so that's the details. And as I said, I will put the link to Three Trees website down below. So this is obviously an art card, lovely quality. And you know what I love about Three Trees Tarot? I have all of their decks now, except that I have, that I have bought myself, apart from one that was gifted to me. Um, so I have smoke ash and embers and i have 
oak ash and thorn what i don't have at the moment is the thistledown oracle that was produced last year but i am going to rectify that because i am going to get that it is on my list of decks to get so i will be getting that and what i love is everything is you know eco-friendly everything that they do is eco-friendly the inks and everything even the packaging i mean the box for this deck came in what looks like plastic like pa packaging um, on the outer side of the box that had the label with the address on it but it's actually eco-friendly um uh, like plastic mailer which is really really good so that's um, a card there then we've got thanks a thank you card three trees tarot so we have got the um, web address there so I'm hoping you can see these okay guys I will hold them up to make sure so that's obviously the backs of the cards so beautiful absolutely stunning I just love their decks I'm so grateful to have been sent this deck for review to be you know one of the first people to see this deck I'm so so appreciative of it and I'm also um, very very happy to review this deck so first of all we have the fall so we've got this little mouse here I mean look at him sitting there um, and we've got this cottage because I think it's all based around a cottage this time. Um, and just bear in mind that the colour saturation um, will be enhanced on the um, final printing of this deck. And just remember that the corners will be rounded, guys. So... Oh, it, that's a gorgeous fall card, isn't it? I'd love to live there. Go into this card and live there. Oh, that would totally be me living in that cottage. Then we have the magician. It's just amazing. And I love the uh, print that's been used, the typeface that's been used here. And it's just a small banner, so it's not taking up half the card or anything. So basically, apart from that, the cards are borderless. It's wonderful card stock, as you know, we've come to know with Three Trees Tarot. So it's a matte card stock. It looks like there's a little bit of a sheen to it, but that's just the light catching it. But basically, it's this silky, matte, like buttery feel. It's really, really lovely. Um, so we've got this little mouse again here. I wonder if he's all the way through it because we saw him, didn't we, on the full card. There, thinking, should I? Should I go on an adventure into that house? should i and then we've got this lovely bunny here for the magician we've got flowers here and we've got the cup the pentacle the sword and the wand and everything there look at these little toadstools even i mean the details of this artwork is just amazing adam ola's art is just superb he's like one of my favorite artists to um you know for tarot or oracle decks oh look this is the high priestess look at her she's even got a little tiny crown on and she looks like i don't know if she's a long tailed tit or a coal tit something like that anyway um here we've got a scroll like we see often in the High Priestess. And here's our little mouse again. It's so cute. This is so lovely. The Empress. This Oh, this is amazing, isn't it? So obviously this is like 
looks like a derelict house, doesn't it? One that's not been lived in for ages, but the animals have taken over and are living in there. How amazing. I'd live in there with the animals. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? This um, deer with her young fawn. It's so lovely. Oh. Oh wow, the emperor. So we've got this wolf coming down the stairs. The mouse again there is like, oh, was he there in the empress? Don't see him, but I might be being blind there. Don't actually see him, but um, he is here. Look at the wolf coming down the stairs and then all these pictures of different animals. This is so cool, the way this has been done. The Hierophant. Oh. So we've got a key here and a mouse. Yes, use the key to open the window. Or is that key for something else? Something secret? We have the lovers, that's amazing. Look at him looking at these two foxes. And these butterflies or moths all in this old derelict house in the woods. And so this is our other lovers card because remember there's two. So you can choose, you can either have this lovers card or you can have this lover's card and that's dead cute that is. Oh my God. Look. Oh, oh I love that. Well, I love both, but God, it would be really hard for me to choose which one to keep in the deck. We end up keeping both in there. <laughs> the chariot. So we've got this horse here. The mouse, look there, is talking to the horse, saying, Hi, how are you? Your barn's a little bit worse for wear, but... Strength. Yeah, the mouse is going to need strength against this snake because this snake could eat this mouse easily. But the mouse is not running away. He's there. And look at the uh, the lemniscuit here too. The detail of these. I love this ivy that's there too. Oh, look, the hermit. Oh, that is like the best hermit card, guys. This... This deck is just amazing. I just love this. I can see me using this a lot. Um, and I will pre-order as well. I will I will get um, the finished copy of this too. Um, because it's so lovely. Obviously, it's lovely to have the prototype, but... I will purchase the finished product as well. I love that. Look at the way he's asleep there on top of this clock. And we've got these cobwebs here. I mean, this is just stunning. I, I'm just almost lost for words. This owl as justice. He really looks like um, justice, doesn't he? He reminds you of... Um, a judge presiding over a court, doesn't he? And um, they used to call as well in London years ago um, when you had, I mean, say in like Oliver Twist's time, they would call a magistrate, a judge, they'd call him the beak in common um, terms, the way they used to speak in London, um, uh, being taken up to the beak so um it's funny it just made me think of that this being an owl and obviously an owl's got a beak and they did used to call it going in front of the beak <laughs> uh 
the hanged ha mouse. Oh, yeah, be careful, little mouse. You fall in there, you might, you probably won't be able to get back out. He's trying to get at the dandelion and burdock. You know, I used to love dandelion and burdock when I was a kid. My dad loved it as well. So that just reminds me of that. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at death. So this bird has died and there's, but although he's died, we see rebirth because we see this rose um, growing out of the remains of this bird. And it's like the mouse is there as a comfort almost. Oh, he's died. I'm going to sit with him for a while. But we see the rebirth with this flower coming out. Temperance. I love that this is like a journey through the house with our little mouse friend. It's so lovely. The devil. Now, remember, we have two devil cards. So this is the first one. So he's looking, it's like these um, foxes are looking at him as though they're going to, like, get him. So we have that devil card. And we have this devil card. Oh my gosh. So what's happened there is he drunk something he shouldn't. And now he's got kind of tied up in the branches or in this vine but he could probably get out but it's thorny she's going to have to be careful he may be drank maybe this was alcohol and he got he got drunk drinking it i like that i like both but i probably will keep that one in actually oh look at the tower Wow, so atmospheric. I love it. The door open into the forest, the leaves all blowing into the empty house. And here's our little mouse. He escaped. He escaped from the vines and this fault lightning. Love that for the tower. Oh, uh, this, this deck is giving me goose pimples and that doesn't often happen with decks. The star. Oh, look what he's found. All amongst the, looks like it's raining, but he's found this bright star. The moon. So we've got an old boot that's been left maybe by some previous owner. Or maybe it's been left by somebody taking shelter, a homeless person. So we've got this little mouse asleep on the boot. But I think there so might be something in there as well. If you look, it looks like an eye. I could be imagining it. <laughs> but it's lovely, the moon shining through the break in the wall. Oh, the sun. So we've got um, a teapot here with the sun on it. But it's actually got like smoke coming up as though somebody has made tea in it. Oh, look at judgment. Yeah, looking into the mirror. That's quite um powerful, that card, isn't it? I hope you guys can see these okay. cobwebs. I'm loving this. And then we have the world. Oh, look. So we've got that. Normally we would see this wrapped around a figure, wouldn't we? And we've got the sash here that's in that lemniscate again that would go around the figure in the RWS. So I think then we're going to be having the five additional cards um, so these are additional art cards that are coming with the first printing of this deck so they will be exclusive to this first printing only 
So this is unease. She's thinking, oh, that's a bit scary. But it looks like it's a mouse that's been, um, you know, been stuffed. It's, um, what's the word? God, taxidermy. Somebody's done taxidermy on it, possibly. Discovery. Yeah, look, he's found a star inside a jar. Look at it glowing. Tend. Tend the candle. It's right on top of this snail as well. It's lovely. And surprise. Oh, look, maybe he's taken the star to this little bird and said, hey, look. Look at this lovely star. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> home. He's found his own little home, a little wooden house inside a house. Maybe this is like um, a doll's house that somebody used once. Then we move on to our minors. So we are starting with the cups. So we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. Oh, look, these two little birds. The water, cleaning the fruit. And they're gonna have a feast. The Three of Cups birds having a bath in a bird bath outside the cottage um my mum has a bird bath in her garden the birds are often in it doing exactly this <laughs> four of cups oh here's our wolf again he's upstairs on one of the beds he's got four cups here Oh, look at the Five of Cups. Oh, he's sad because he's seen all his cups have broken. But he's got two here. And this looks like a gravestone, doesn't it? Six of Cups. Oh, look at these frogs. Lots of toadstools and little, um, like, ladybirds. This looks like it's the stairway going up. So here's our six cups. Oh, I love it. Seven of cups. So the fox and the mouse are having a look in the cupboard. And there's bread and there's some things in there. There's herbs drying. There's like a broom here. And maybe someone is living there. But these two look like they've become friends, don't they? Eight of Cups. These broken cups. He's managing to climb up there, though. The Nine of Cups. This old gramophone. The Ten of Cups. Oh, they found like an old bath and she's got her ducklings in there. We've got this rainbow at the window. So it's like a family scene, isn't it? Like we see in the RWS with people, except this is animals. A page of cups. So we've got a frog here instead of a person. And the fish is in this cup. The way he's looking at it. The Knight of Cups. So we've got um, our little mouse. This looks like um, well, not a pumpkin. But it looks a bit like a butternut squash or something like that. And it's had eyes cut into it. The Queen of Cups. Oh, that's lovely. Look at her standing outside. Love this on her head too. 
that's so lovely. And the King of Cups. So we've got this heron here as the king. Then we have our Ace of Pentacles. I love that. I love this door. I love old doors and gates and things like that. It's like um, gates and doors into secret gardens. And I love the roses growing up there. And the mouse is looking at the pentacle. The two of pentacles. So we've got two snails here. On top of a larger shell, on top of a bigger um, snail. So we've got a large snail here. I didn't even notice that straight away. I was looking at these two. <laughs> so it's like they're balance, balancing. So like we see like balancing or juggling in the two of pentacles. So this snail's moving along, but he's got these little ones on her back. Love it. Three of pentacles. So we've got a spider here spinning pentacles in its web. The mouse is having a look, watching, watching the spinning going on. Four of Pentacles. I love it. The Five of Pentacles. Oh, he's out in the in the cold. It's like this tree has got a bandage on it. The tree's trying to sort of protect him, but he hasn't got many branches and things to help. But he has got a lamp. Maybe he can find his way into the cottage. Six of Pentacles. Oh, look at these lovely flowers growing in the sink. Literally coming up the hole that would be the drain hole. And it's that thing, isn't it, about life finds a way. And it does. It will grow anywhere it can. Plants and roots of trees. Oh, seven of pentacles. This is like a wild boar. And there's things hanging out on the line. Clothes line. Some old fashioned clothes pegs. And pentacles here. Like coins. Eight of pentacles. Oh, we've got a squirrel. The Nine of Pentacles. Oh, this is lovely. This looks like a hair, doesn't it? On top of a um, chest of drawers. Where, again, the plant life has taken over and is inside the drawers and growing up the outside. This is so amazing. I just love this. And look at, like, the torn wallpaper. Looks like the little mouse is asleep with the hair. How cute is that? The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, we've got a couple of crows here. And some books. Three crows, actually. Love it. The Page of Pentacles. So our little mouse. I'm saying mouse, he could be a vole, I suppose, or a shrew even, but we'll say mouse. <laughs> so he's looking at this broken sort of pig ornament that's sitting on top of these books. The Knight of Pentacles is a chess piece. I love that, using a chess piece for the Knight of Pentacles. That's really cool. And we've got this snail going up on top of it. The Queen of Pentacles. Look at her. She's even got one of these little butterflies on her nose. <laughs> and the King of Pentacles. This looks like a starling. Because they do have these colours um, in them when you look at them. If the sun catches them right. 
So then we're onto our sword. So we have the Ace of Swords and we can see the sword here in this door. And what's behind this door? The Two of Swords. Ooh, that's the only thing I'm not keen on spiders. You can just imagine that crawling out of the card. Ooh, <laughs> but maybe it's crawling towards this light. It's like a hole here with some thorny growth coming through. He's probably wondering if he can get through there without getting stuck. Is he trapped? No, there's a way out if you're careful. The Three of Swords. Oh. Has he got a broken wing or something? Oh. Um, four of Swords. Oh, look. Using a shelf to have a rest. The Five of Swords. Oh, wow, look at this crow or raven. Very cool. The Six of Swords. That's cool, isn't it? It's like this. But can you go any further, though? Seven of Swords. Oh, I love this picture. She, um, he's um, holding a sword as well. And look at this here. And then our little mouse. The Eight of Swords. Mm. And Nine of Swords. Wow, look at all those swords in that chair. So the owl, even if he wanted to sit on that chair, he can't. He can only perch there because of the all the swords in the chair. And then the Ten of Swords. Um, and some of those swords have gone through these butterflies, I think. And we've got Sorrow. Despair, grief. That's really cool that that's been put on the spines of the books, actually. So we've got our Page of Swords. It's lovely. Look at all the stars coming out. The Knight of Swords. Look at him looking through there into like a wintry forest oak ash and thorn i love that smoke ash and embers how cool is that i love it it is the names of the two previous tarot decks but that reminds me of like you see i'm terrible <laughs> like the lion the witch and the wardrobe <laughs> you know when she first finds the back of the wardrobe is um is not there and there's all these snowy branches coming in and she has to put a fur coat on to go into Narnia. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Oh, be careful of that snake. And the King of Swords. Oh, look at him. It's lovely. Then we have our wands. So we have the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. Oh, a badger. Love that. Look at all the candles going up the stairs. Lighting his way. 
The Four of Wands. This is like some old cake, isn't it? It's got mushrooms growing on it. It's that old. But the mice are using it to sleep on. It's bits of crumbs on him. That reminds me of um, Great Expectations where um, Miss Havisham, um, because she was like jilted, wasn't she, at the altar as a Charles Dickens book and she leaves everything the way it was and the wedding cake has gone all mouldy and things like that. I'm going totally off <laughs> here, guys, sorry. Uh, five of Wands. Oh, wow, look at these two and they're caught under there as well. Oh, look at our hedgehog on six of wands. And these lovely butterflies as well. I love this. This has got to be so far the, my favourite of the tarot decks that have been produced. I don't have the Thistledown Oracle, so I can't say, but looking at this with the oak ash and thorn and the smoke ash and embers. I love those decks as well, but this has got to be my favorite so far. Seven of wands, eight of wands. Dear, we're a bit flooded there, aren't we? Look at all these fish. They're literally like jumping out of the window. <laughs> Something stuck here. Nine of Wands is a bat. Oh, I love that. The bat for the Nine of Wands. It's brilliant. But he's got holes in his wing. So he's probably not going to be able to fly, is he? Oh, look at the Ten of Wands. Little sleepy squirrel with a nice fire, all nice and cosy. And the Page of Wands is this lovely fawn. The Knight of Wands looks like a stoat or a pine martin. Look at this little lizard guy here too. Oh, and the Queen of Wands. That's lovely. Look at this hair looking up at this um, ladybird in flight. The rays of the sun shining through. And then we have the King of Wands, which is the wolf in the picture. Then what we have here, and I probably should have done this first, but we do have um, cards um, with the name of the card and then just giving us a few key words for each one. And the same, so on the back as well. And then the same with the swords, the cups. So we've got ace, two, three, four, etc. So ace of swords and ace of cups there. And the same for the wands and the pentacles. And there will be um, a PDF guidebook available which will be sent to um, anyone that orders the deck as well so there will be a guidebook available in a pdf form so this deck is amazing and these two cards also protect the deck and so your deck will come with a card either end for protection as well the same as this as this one um this deck is just amazing i absolutely love it um and as i say details will be down below for three trees uh website pre-order is may the 3rd subscribers to the um email newsletter um We'll get all details of this deck on the 19th of April, but pre-orders will open on the 3rd of May. So this is stunning. 
Thank you, Stephanie, for sending this to me. It's absolutely wonderful deck, absolutely amazing. And I will be using it definitely. But as I said, I will, <laughs> I will definitely want to get um, another copy when um, it's all finished and up for pre-order. So that's the full deck, guys. So that was the Heartwood Tarot by Three Trees Tarot. And I will see you again soon, I'm sure. Bye for now.